You turn both of those off, you will not need to worry about your phone ever connecting to Apple CarPlay wirelessly. I have not had it happen since I've turned these off. But you go all the way up here and you get this little icon for your Apple CarPlay. And now you see that it is connected with a wired connection. If I were to unplug it, let's see what happens. It goes away. Reason why you would want to turn off your wireless Apple CarPlay is I can probably attest to most vehicles, not all, but most vehicles wireless Apple CarPlay connection is absolutely atrocious. I remember getting this 2023 RAV4 about a year ago, actually a little over a year ago now, and the very first day I got it, it dropped the connection twice. Now I chalked it up to the fact there's a brand new car, it was learning all the different settings, it might have flaked out something because, you know, I went into the menu immediately and changed everything I possibly could to where I wanted in here and in the instrument cluster. I, the very first week I've had this vehicle, I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. I did some settings on the phone and I have ever since then for about 14 months have completely gotten rid of any like trust on wireless connection. I like to plug my phone in and as it's charging and just have a wired connection. Not one time has the connection ever dropped with a wired connection. And same thing with my 19 RAV4 that only had wired Apple CarPlay connection. And if you have a 19 through 22, you won't need to worry about this, but anything that has auto wireless by default when you Bluetooth your phone and you select that option. But if I go into there, you could briefly see for here, like use for Apple CarPlay. If you don't select that, you'll never have it. So it kind of, you can't go through the screen and do it that way for a wireless connection. You have to do the way that I told you to. Uh, the second reason is, is because it uses like a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth setting or whatever. And what happens is, is that it locks out my ability to Wi-Fi connect to my Nexar Beam dash cam. I know it's kind of poorly managed there with this cord hanging down. I didn't want to hardwire it just yet because um, it just kind of works. And I don't really like to mess with hardwiring and tucking wires and damaging something else. But that's for a whole nother day. But I go into the Nexar Beam app and I hit stream. I go in every time because I don't want to trust that it's going to record. I want to make sure I'm streaming my drives every time versus trusting that it, it would be doing it automatically, which frees up one of your, I think it's in the uh, with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, one of the connections, because after once the camera boots up, it lets me connect, but I just go straight to the app. And once it finds it via Wi-Fi, I hit stream on the app. It goes to a little green button to activate and stream the camera. So it's constantly recording until it no longer sees power and shuts off. And I like that. So. Now, is there cars out there that the connection wirelessly is very good? Yeah, sure. My aunt has a 2023 Acura MDX luxury. It has every option. It's a $60,000 SUV. And I, since I've last asked her a couple months ago, she had told me that not one time has the wireless connection ever dropped, but that's one car. A lot of other people I've known, the connection is just not reliable. Even though it's fairly new to the market, I know that I remember in 2021, there was like one car ever that had it. 22, they started kind of coming. Now every car has wireless. You could get a base model car, even like this RAV4, a base RAV4 has wireless Apple CarPlay connection. I like having a wired, not only is it charging my phone because I don't trust the wireless charging pads. Uh, this RAV4 over here, this 24 Limited has that and we, we turn it off immediately. We don't even use it. We plug the phones in. If that helps you out, I'm I'm really glad that I was able to help you and spread the word because not a lot of people know about this. I didn't find a lot of information on it. So I hope this helps you and anybody else that you might refer to this video or you know, if you stumble across it, hey, I hope I helped out a lot. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.